they keep telling us they've got a plan, it's a cultural reboot, a cultural reset to bring the kids through to get rid of the, the failing players. But, you know, the plan is working to a certain extent, they're getting some better results, but then they're getting bad results. I think that you look at the top, you know, Ed Woodward has been the man, he's been the consistent thread right from the outset of the post Ferguson years. And, you know, Edward has made some bad managerial appointments, he's overseen some terrible recruitment of players. And I think that Ed, you know, He's obviously a commercial genius. He was the guy that made the, the club so much money. So maybe put Ed back in a different role, the commercial side, and bring somebody in, a football administrator who knows how to run a football club. And then his first decision would be to get a new manager or a new coach because for all of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's popularity amongst the United supporters, he's not qualified to manage that club. He's not, he's not a coach of the ilk of Jurgen Klopp, Pep Guardiola, Maurizio Pochettino, who obviously is available. You, know, you look at Solskjaer and you think, why has he got that job? He's got the job because he used to play for the club, but this is the guy who got Cardiff City relegated from the Premier League and spent the rest of his time coaching in Norway. So he isn't qualified for the job, but that is off the pitch. On the pitch, they've just got problems in every area that on, on the pitch. You know, they've got defenders are poor. The goalkeeper, for me, De Gea, you know, three or four years past his best or certainly has been drifting for three or four years. Up front, they've got young talent, but I think in midfield is where they, they've really got problems. It, it, it's an awful midfield. They need to find as quickly as possible, a midfielder who can control the game, score goals, create goals and protect the defence. Now, those kind of midfielders don't come around very often, but that's what they need. They need to find somebody. They've got the money to do it, though. They can find somebody if they want to. This is it, isn't it? The silver lining in all of this, if you're a Manchester United fan, is that you find yourself only five points of Chelsea in fourth place. Chelsea are inconsistent. You put a good run together. There's no reason why you can't make that Champions League spot and then start rebuilding the club and its reputation as one of the strongest in Europe. The problem is, Mark, you look at it, you've got Solskjaer, as you mentioned there, what's he doing in the job? You've got Pochettino, who's wandering around free. Why isn't anyone at the club saying, right, here we go, we'll get Poch in tomorrow, we'll pull the trigger over the January transfer window, bring on two or three big names, make that push for top four, there we go, Champions League, we're back in the game. Because there's a lack of ruthlessness and, and real tough edge at Man United. There, there has been ever since Felix Ferguson left. You know, you look at Chelsea and Man City under Abramovich and Sheikh Mansour. When, when things aren't going right, they, ch they sack the manager. They, they make a change and they don't mess about. They're ruthless with it. Now, Man United's post Ferguson, they hung on for, with David Moyes for too long. They hung on to Louis van Gaal for too long. And Mourinho, they could even have got rid of Mourinho in the summer when he started complaining about everything that was going on at the club. So, you know, I think that they have to look at it and say, Things need to change. There's no point waiting to the summer. That's another year lost. Because you're right, Dan, they are five points off the top four, so the gap is, is not a massive gap. But this, in the rest of the season, they've got to go to Anfield. They've got to go to Chelsea. They just lost to Arsenal recently. They've got to go to Tottenham. They've got to play Man City again. I mean, these are tough games, and I, I just don't see United picking up the points that people think they will. So, for me, their challenge is getting to the top six and qualify for Europe again. I think the top four really is, when you look at the fixtures, it's just not going to happen. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.